to come in the future. So, so. I'm guessing your main target for now will be 2020. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the main. So although we're in 2019 and we've got the world championships to negotiate, my mind is in 2019 and 2020 in a sense that I do want to perform well this year, mm -hmm. but like it's a platform for next year. So the first thing I need to start doing is making an individual in the 100 meters. That's something yeah. I failed to do. I haven't done that yet. Okay? okay, we can't talk about Olympic final if you can't do that. Do that first. Run under 10 seconds. You're mm -hmm. not going to make the Olympic final if you can't run under 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Run under 10 seconds. You know what I mean? Win a British Championships, medal at British, top two in a British Championship. Start to get into the habit of doing those things regularly. That's what I'm going to use 2019 for. It's a platform. And then next year, I can sit with my coach and say, I wanted to make an Olympic final. And it's not going to be a thing where oh, this guy's shit, it, man, that like, shut up. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to be that. It's going to be actually, okay, how are we going how, 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 how to get this done? That's, that's what I'm about right now. So um, yeah, 2020 is the big goal. Um, and I honestly couldn't care. In a way, I, I say I don't care, of course I care, but whatever happens um, up until that point is secondary. As long as I, as long as long it teaches me the lessons and everything else to get to the point where I can make an Olympic final, yeah, that's all I care about. And even if I get to Tokyo and I, and I come up short, then guess what? In Eugene year after that, I'll make a final there. Like, what, what, the, what these years have taught me is that, listen, okay, I might have come up short, but you know, I, I, it might be delayed, but it's not going to be denied for me. That's how I look at it. Like, I'm going to get it at some point. It's a good way you know to look at it. I'm going to get it at some point. You're only 22. <laughs> I know. So, I know I'm talking like I'm 30. So but you've I've, got yeah, such, I've got time. I've still got time. I've you've got, got time. at least, what, two two more Olympics? Two more cycles. Yeah, potentially oh, two more cycles. And I'm talking after Tokyo. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah 100%. Yeah. What, three or four world championships, yeah, yeah, European championships. Mm -hmm. You've got so much I've got so much to look forward to. You're right. You're right. It's, it's crazy to think that you're so mature at 22 yeah. and you've got all these plans and it's like someone would think, oh, this is like an older guy. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> no, this, is, this is a young man who has a long time to achieve what he wants. But, uh, but a lot of people tell me that. They just say, listen, you're like, you're, like you need to be, just, just enjoy being young. But I think where I've immersed myself so much in track, like I've just kind of just been thinking uh, beyond my years in a way. So sometimes I've got to bring myself back down and say, listen, you're 22 relax but i guess it's hard to say i'm 22 when in the same breath mm -hmm. there's other people who are 22 who are running 97 running 98 running 99 winning this champs and that so i never try to use that as an excuse mm -hmm. to kind of uh, as a cushion to fall on and say but i'm only 22 yeah but the next guy's even 21 even 20. so i, so you know, I, I never like to use age as a as a as a as like a cushion to say oh no i've got time i know i've got time mm -hmm. but in the same breath you can sometimes sometimes that can be negative as well because when you keep saying I've got time I've got time I've got time then the moment never oh, comes it, oh, you create the moment it gets a bit further away it gets a bit further away that. like the moment is not the, there's no such thing as the moment you create it it yeah. doesn't just happen so in saying I'm young you're waiting for the moment when you're older yeah. yeah for all you know you could that moment could be now and I and I've seen a lot of people just grasp the moment there and then and they've catapulted themselves into into stardom and into a world class field and I look at it and I say you know what there's no point waiting the time is now if you're ready now do Thank it now you. yeah because you don't can't know where be you could be next year can't be afraid to pull the trigger I you suppose. can't be afraid and the best sprinters you watch them in a the race they know when to pull the trigger mm -hmm. you see them if it's either at the start it's at the end it's in the middle they know when to pull the trigger and they don't hesitate with it and that's another that's another conversation but when is you yours <laughs> I'm trying to make it be the be the whole thing to be honest but you know I guess I've been known for the trigger being at the end mm -hmm. but I think the way my, like my techniques changed a lot this year even okay. in training like I've just been developing everything even more like I said I've been in my second season of my coach I'm just improving a lot more and I feel like right now the trigger is probably like I guess in the middle point in the race but it could be at the start it could be at the end it could be in the middle it could be anywhere I'm trying to get myself to the point where yeah, I'm a, I want to be a complete sprinter have a start have a finish have a middle I don't want to be someone who just has a finish or just has a start because yeah. essentially you have a limiting factor, which is the opposite end of the race. I want to be someone who's got, you know, a, a good race across the board. Uh,